Luis Suarez as Liverpool almost won the Premier League back in 2014. They were so good going forwards. Luis Suarez himself won the Golden Boot that season, scoring 31 goals. And they just almost won the Premier League, if not for the unfortunate slip-up from Stevie G and that horrific result against Crystal Palace. Liverpool would have probably won the league, but nevertheless, they were so good attacking-wise. They scored a ton of goals, with Luis Suarez scoring 31 himself in the Premier League. And with players like Sturridge, Sterling, Coutinho and Stevie G himself contributing, that Liverpool side was something else. They were coached by Brendan Rodgers and they played a really good attacking brand of football. The current 2018 Liverpool have also enjoyed a tremendous amount of success reaching a Champions League final and also performing consistently in the Premier League. Now back in 2014, Liverpool had a talisman like Luis Suarez who was a world beater and now it's the same case with Liverpool having Mohamed Salah who in fact broke Luis Suarez's Premier League goal record. So this Liverpool side with the likes of of course Santiago Mane and Roberto Firmino is actually really really good and probably on paper even better than Luis Suarez as Liverpool but that's what we're going to be finding out in today's FIFA 9 19 experiment video it's Liverpool versus Liverpool it's Luis Suarez's Liverpool versus Mohamed Salah's Liverpool which team is going to come out on top I'm really eager to find out if you guys are excited for today's experiment video make sure to show your support by dropping a like in the video that would be greatly appreciated and if you're watching my videos for the first time do subscribe for more FIFA 19 videos on the channel let's get started with the experiment video by taking a look at the teams for the purpose of this experiment video we're going to be putting both teams into a Premier League game to see which team comes out on top. I'm not going to be controlling any of the teams and also because a few players from the 2014 Liverpool side aren't in FIFA 19, I've got to go ahead and create them and I've done exactly that. I've tried to give most players the stats they had back in FIFA 14. So yes, I've gone ahead and checked FIFA 14's database to make this video possible. So up front for this Liverpool side, Luis Suarez and Daniel Sturridge. They were such a great duo. They had 50 plus goals between them, which is amazing. What a duo they were. The media called them SAS. And of course, in behind them, Coutinho and Sterling. Liverpool played a 4-4-2 under Brendan Rodgers back then. And it was a formation that really worked for them. Coutinho, of course, he was fabulous for Liverpool. And Sterling as well. That was, I guess, his breakout season before he made the move to Man City. But yeah, Coutinho and Sterling on either sides. You can't really go wrong with that. Joe Allen, he was often just jokingly called the Welsh Chavi. A bit of a meme, that. But Steven Gerrard was the real deal even back then at the, you know, latter stages of his career captaining this side. 88 is what the overall I've given him. Glenn Johnson played as the left back. He's got five star weak foot in FIFA 14. So maybe that's why he was used as left back. John Flanagan as well was pretty decent that season. You know, going forwards, he used to create a lot. And also just was up and down the flank a lot. Daniel Aka and Skirtle at the back for this Liverpool side. And Mignolet being their keeper. Now on the bench they had some interesting players. Victor Moses back then was a Liverpool player. Lucas Leiva as well. Sacco, Diego Aspas who's now gone and gone to you know, Celta Vigo and is performing well. Jordan Henderson was also on the Liverpool bench that season. Jordan Ive and Sissoko as well. So... That is Brendan Rodgers' Liverpool side. Now, in terms of tactics, I've just gone with balance because I can't really figure out the kind of tactics this Liverpool side used to deploy. It was mostly to try and just get the ball to Luis Suarez as soon as possible and to, you know, have him get the job done for them because he was that good back then. He used to create, he used to score, he used to literally do everything. Stevie G is obviously going to captain this Liverpool side with Luis Suarez taking the free kick duty and Coutinho taking long free kicks. Gerard's of course going to be taking the pens and Coutinho the corners. This is Mohamed Salah's Liverpool and one thing I've noticed is that how different this side is from Liverpool just four years ago. It's actually crazy how well the owners of the club have done to replace players like Luis Suarez and Coutinho and bring in Salah, Firmino, Mane and all that so fair play to the owners. And this should make for an interesting video as both teams are drastically different from each other with different play styles as well. So we've got Salah leading the line for Liverpool. Roberto Firmino playing in that false nine role, whereas Santiago Mane is going to be down the left. We've got James Milner, Wijnaldum and Henderson in midfield. Now in real life, Fabinho, Keita don't really start for Liverpool. It's usually Milner and Wijnaldum. Or you know what, Keita maybe starts. It, it's a bit of a confusion there. Fabinho most definitely doesn't start as I usually see Henderson in midfield. So that's why I've gone for him. But both of them are on the bench. We've got Robertson as left back who's established himself as the first choice left back. The same can be said for the youngster Trent Alexander-Arnold. 
Van Dyke and Matsip at the back as their centre-backs and Alisson who again made a really good save in the Champions League just recently for this Liverpool side so that's their bench as well they've got a good bench now one thing I noticed is that how good this Liverpool side's bench is in comparison to of course 2014's Liverpool side I mean they've got the likes of Shaqiri, Chamberlain, Keita and Fabinho to bring on Liverpool in, the, in these last four years have really worked on their squad depth and they, that may show in this experiment that may be the reason why Salah's Liverpool comes out on top so that is the squad Liverpool have now in 2018. Now in terms of tactics, I feel like constant pressure is the more accurate way to depict this Liverpool side. I'm going to keep the offensive style as balanced because I feel like that's how they play. In terms of instructions, we've got the wingers set to stay forward, cut inside, get in behind, Roberto Firmino to act as the false nine, the midfield just Henderson to stay back and of course the fullbacks to join the attack and make overlapping runs. Now in terms of player roles, we've got Henderson captaining the side, Alexander-Arnold taking free kicks, again one thing I've again noticed is that free kick takers for this Liverpool side not as good as back then. James Miller to take long free kicks, Milner to take penalties as well and corners as well. So a lot of duties here for Milner. So this is Salah's Liverpool. What's going to happen in today's experiment video? We've got Luis Suarez as Liverpool versus Mohamed Salah's Liverpool. I'm excited to find out. Let's get into the gameplay. Here we go guys. It's Liverpool versus Liverpool at Anfield. Who do you guys think is going to win? Will it be Liverpool or Liverpool? But anyways, enough with all the stupid jokes. We've got Luis Suarez playing for Liverpool once again, donning that number 7 shirt and I'm really eager to see how he performs and if he can outperform Mohamed Salah who is also playing this one. It is basically Mohamed Salah versus Luis Suarez but at the same time Klopp's Liverpool also has a lot more top quality players like of course Roberto Firmino, Sadio Mane. This should be an interesting battle. Let's get started off with the kickoff. Roberto Firmino on the attack for Salah's Liverpool. Mane inside to Wijnaldum. They're already looking really good on the attack. Now Sadio Mane with a chance maybe. Still Mane. Ah, uh, taken off there by Flanagan. Still Coutinho out wide to Raheem Sterling. Sterling now into Stevie G. Gerard into Joe Allen. Now Daniel Sturridge. Now back to Luis Suarez. Let's see what Suarez is up to inside to Coutinho. Now back to Coutinho. Some great passing from Suarez as Liverpool. Luis Suarez does well to find Gerard. Suarez strikes it well after some great link up play between him and Stevie G. But Alisson with a huge save there. Take a look at that link up play between Gerard and Suarez. It's fantastic seeing both of them play together. But Alisson does stop them. This might be it for Salah's Liverpool. A chance for them to counter attack. It's Henderson. Now Mohamed Salah, his first touch of the ball as he plays it wide to Alexander Arnold and now Salah may be through this is Mohamed Salah's chance for Liverpool to score Salah shoots and Mignolet with this save so far both Luis Suarez and Mohamed Salah are performing for their respective sides it's about time someone scores let's find out what happens ahead Salah cuts this one back to Firmino and the first goal comes to Salah's Liverpool. As the first goal comes to Salah's Liverpool, a great pass from Mohamed Salah laying it off to Roberto Firmino as he gets himself an assist and Firmino in that false nine roll, right place, right time, puts the ball into the back of the net. Mignolet couldn't keep that one out as it was a pretty simple tap and of course Klopp celebrating that goal. As of course, Mohamed Salah's Liverpool have taken the lead in this one. Roberto Firmino. Oh, into Salah. This is Salah's chance to score as well. Mohamed Salah left foot. How's he not score that? Mignolet with a stunning save. It should be 2-0 now for Salah's boys because that's a chance Mohamed Salah never misses. Left foot as well. He may have benefited from maybe shooting with his right foot. That's a chance wasted by the Egyptian. Coutinho out wide to Glenn Johnson, that's a good cross, but Virgil van Dijk gets it away. One thing I've noticed, the difference between this defence of Salah's team and of course Suarez's team's defence, it's tremendous. Virgil van Dijk is game-changing at the back and that's one reason right now Salah's team has the clean sheet. Raheem Sterling, his first involvement in this one, puts in a great cross to Skirtle, whose header goes wide. Sterling finds Allen, back to Raheem Sterling, inside to Gerrard, now Felipe Coutinho, who tries the finesse shot. Luis Suarez with the acrobatic effort, but Alisson collects that one without much of a problem. Luis Suarez has been trying his best to try and bring Liverpool back into this one, but it's just not happening. Salah's side is just too good. Here goes Salah once again out wide, down the right. 
Puts in a fabulous cross and Mane, what an acrobatic effort that was from Sadio Mane. Honestly, that deserved the goal. The cross from Salah was just perfect and the effort from Sadio Mane, oh my god. I'm just, I just don't know how that wasn't a goal because it should have been. It was such a great attempt. Coutinho lays this one to Stevie G. This could be the chance for Suarez's team as Gerard strikes it so well with his weak foot. But Alisson makes a big save. Alisson has come real good. Half time and so far in this experiment, it's been Salah who's dominating. Although individually Suarez has been performing, Salah's team has done a lot better. And, and of course, right now they are leading in this experiment. But we've got 45 minutes left. Let's see what happens. Salah's team again running rampant in this second half. It's Sadio Mane now finds Robertson. Robertson inside to Fabinho who's been brought on as a sub. Fabinho shoots with his weak foot. Mignolet with the save. Luis Suarez and his mates need to respond because so far Salah's dominating. And it looks like he's going to be winning this experiment. Taps it forward. Gets it onto his left foot. Shoots with his left Mignolet saves. I don't know why he didn't try the finesse shot from there because that would have probably worked for him. Fabinho holds up the play, finds Robertson out wide in that left back roll, cross played into Firmino, Mane and now Wijnaldum. The build up play from this team right here was just superb and honestly deserved the goal. I don't know how Salah's team is not leading two or three goals to nil because they've been the better side and by a mile. Gerard now out wide to Coutinho, this could be a chance now. For Suarez's team, Luis Suarez on the attack shoots, but Alisson with this save there. Chances have come really scarce for this Liverpool side led by Luis Suarez, so they've got to take them. And Suarez right now is being outperformed by Salah. Raheem Sterling controls it well, finds Gerard who shoots, big save from Alisson. What an attempt from Stevie G. Probably deserved a goal just for that long shot. The power behind that, also the control from Raheem Sterling. Alisson again coming up big with that save. Salah finesses this one and hits the post. So unlucky there from Mohamed Salah. I mean, he deserved a goal for this performance that he's put in in today's experiment video. He's been solid, but yeah, really unlucky there. That's it, guys. I'm very disappointed there's only one goal in this game because this game, with the attacks that were created and with the football both sides, I guess, played, it deserved a few more goals. I would rather have seen a 4-2 or something like that as a scoreline. As you guys can see, Jurgen Klopp celebrating. I guess this experiment kind of shows how far Liverpool have come from four years ago. They've now built a really good side capable of potentially winning the Premier League. But anyways, Luis Suarez, I guess, in terms of an individual performance, did really well. But Salah did outshine him. So that's the end of this experiment. Salah's Liverpool comes out on top in this one against Luis Suarez's Liverpool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's experiment video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like in the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Let me know what kind of an experiment video I should do next in the comment section. Subscribe for more FIFA 19 videos. And I will see you guys very soon with another video on the channel.